Guys, how we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing the field test of the flail mower. This is the offset flail mower by Del Marina right here. If you haven't watched the overview video, I'll put a link above somewhere in this video so you can check that out as well. But this is where we put it to the test here. We're out at our daycare center that my wife and I own. We've got some nature trails, just a nature area back behind here that uh, we maintain, you know, just an open area for the kids just to go walk around, have some fun out in. So we've got some area out here that I uh, mowed about oh six weeks ago or so another area that i uh, mowed two two and a half months ago something like that and then we're going to test it out on an area that's uh, definitely chest high weeds we're going to see how it does with those as well and then even try out a little bit of regularly maintained grass also to see if it can handle or what kind of result you get uh, if, if you could mow a lawn with this can you really do everything all the above disclosure this is my first time using a flail mower so i'm looking forward to it but if there's mistakes that are made hey don't blame me, I'm just showing you. So this is good for you, this is good for me, we'll learn together. And if you haven't done so yet for some crazy reason, make sure you hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Go ahead, hit it right now, we'll wait for you. <laughs> and then read through the description as well, right underneath the video. A lot of helpful links, places where you can purchase tractors like this, attachments, accessories, all sorts of good stuff for your machine as well. So in this spot here, I wanted to kind of highlight how you can actually mow backwards with this machine. Um, it seems a little strange really compared to mowing with a, uh, a brush hog backwards because you have the roller on the back side there so you're rolling over everything. Uh, maybe it doesn't do the best job, but by the time you go backwards then you're gonna go forwards again, you know, kind of when you're backing into certain areas. Um, it does a really good job and it kind of gives it a double cut then as well. So you're not gonna be really going backwards probably in a lot of areas except for those smaller kind of pockets, maybe around trees, shoves, that kind of thing. So for that kind of purpose, I think it works quite well. You're gonna see I did hit some rocks. Uh, got a couple rocks here. There was one that was right up here, another rock that was over here as well. And I wasn't really sure, you know, the one thing that didn't even come into my brain until right now is I'm out here with any, or without any extra shear pins or shear bolts. So I hit that first when I thought, oh crap, man, I'm just waiting for a problem and I'm gonna be out here stuck without a shear bolt like a knucklehead. But then I hit the next one and I thought, well, hey, you know, I think those, those, uh, those flails, those teeth that are underneath there, you know, they kind of give, right? And so it's not like it's gonna be a rotary cutter or a tiller really where you hit something and it's tied in solidly to a shaft, those Y blades, they give, right? So if they hit something, they're just gonna kind of pling off or plink off and keep going around. So I'm sure there's a way to uh, get a shear bolt to fail on a flail mower. However, I think that kind of um, flexibility there, the, the, the loose teeth that kind of just spin around, I think that naturally gives it a lot more uh, leeway as, as far as going over rocks and little stumps that maybe are hidden in underneath the weeds and the brush, that kind of thing as well. Okay, so this area here that I'm doing here is kind of a path 
uh, right through the middle. It's an area I just forgot to get to the last time I was out here mowing. So it's been a good two, two and a half months since I mowed. Um, I definitely, you know, it was it was different, right? Okay, so there was a, the main area up there that I had mowed um, a lot uh, more recently, which definitely mowed a little bit finer. I could tell this one here, maybe I was going too fast. Maybe I should have had it uh, cutting a little bit higher. I don't know, but it didn't cut it quite as well. It still did a fine job. And I would say every bit as good as a brush hog and the fact that I'm still cutting it that much shorter than what a brush hog would cut it, um, I think is a really big advantage as well. So I went through uh, one pass here completely, which is just fine. I decided to do a second pass, which every time I've brush hogged out here as well, I always do multiple passes just because, you know, these are walking trails at our daycare center for our kids uh, that all come out here. And so I want it to be a nice, you know, clean, easy to get through uh, environment. I don't want them getting, you know, stuff all over them, you know, when they get back inside of the building. So. It's meant to be a nice walking trail back here. So one of the things I learned is that this adjustment down here, uh, you can see there's a, a couple different holes that are in here. So you have one, two, three holes. That's going to adjust the roller height, all right? So initially I thought that was the only adjustment that there was for height. However, what I learned was that you actually can adjust the height pretty significantly by adjusting the top link, rotating it one way or another to lengthen it or shorten it. And so initially when I was mowing there and scalping the ground, I had this top link as short as it could possibly go. So um, I, I raised it out here, oh, I don't know, an inch, a little bit over an inch probably, I guess this is, maybe an inch and a half even. I don't know if that translates directly to increasing the cutting height or not, but this is the other way that you can adjust cutting height with these uh, flail mowers here is by adjusting the length either this way or whatever way of your top link. And I soon realized that these mirrors here, being so adjustable like they are, I don't know if there's a way to adjust it so you can see back there, but um, I can adjust these so I can just see right down, I can see the rear tire, I can see the flail mower, I can even see grass in between the tire and the flail mower, I can see behind it, I can see all around it. So as I'm driving forward, you don't even have to bother with looking backwards, you can just kind of look right in your mirror here. Same thing, got a mirror over here as well. So these mirrors, I've got links below um, in my description on where you can buy these. Now these grab handles, uh, the mirror extensions, you can get tie down points, you can get a step, you can get all sorts of good stuff at MUDS Customs. That link is in the description below as well. You get 5% off a discount code GWT. So I wasn't going to do this, but I want to do it just because, you know, I'm curious myself and I want you guys to have the answer as well. You know, I don't have a lot of super tall, I mean, this is chest high, you know, about five foot high uh, weeds that we have here going on. Very thick, very thick weeds and grasses that's going on here. So I'm just going to kind of open up this general area here or try to open it up. I'm curious to see how the flail mower does in this kind of a condition here. You know, we've kind of done the... Uh, maybe six weeks growth we've done the two and a half month growth and now we're gonna do the this is never this is, hasn't been cut in three or four years so this is gonna be just very mature kind of overgrown growth right here uh, I can see some saplings if you look really close there's some saplings that are growing up as well so I'm not really sure how this is gonna handle it again you can get hammer blades or Y blades on these flail mowers these are the Y blades that are kind of meant for grasses and weeds that kind of thing but this is gonna be about as tough of a test as I can give it right here. We'll see how it does.
Well, so keep in mind as well that this is a 52 inch flail mower. These come in 32, 42, 52, 62 inch. I don't know why it's kind of that odd size. I think it's because they're made out of, made from Italy. So it's probably just a centimeters to inches translation there is my best guess. But you know, this is 52 inches on a John Deere 1025 hour, about 18 or so PTO horsepower on there. You know, it's rated for 12 to 35 horsepower. All right, so it falls right within there, but this is handling it very well. I think that this was a really good test. You can see here, there's some stalks. You know, these are uh, definitely a, a finger thickness right here. This one is, is well above finger thickness as well, or at least it was that it chewed through. These are just a couple of the remnants that I found, but it did destroy most of this material here, even though uh, it does say the Y blades are more for the grasses and the weeds. The hammer blades are more for, I think if you had a lot of uh, uh, stemmy material like this, um, you know, actual trunks and that kind of thing, this is where those hammer blades would excel. But you can see if you have a little bit of a few of them in there, it's definitely going to uh, chop them up. Now you're going to see a lot of material left over here. Uh, of course, it's only going to be able to chop it up so much. And I went over it quite a few times and this is the end result that you see uh, afterwards here. But overall, very impressed with its capabilities. So I've decided to sacrifice, well, maybe sacrifice, maybe everything will be okay. But one area, one strip here, kind of in the back area that's uh, mowed weekly, mowed on a regular basis, okay? So this is a, a regular manicured, well, sort of manicured, mowed <laughs> section of grass here that uh, we're gonna see how this does. I'm mowing it at the same height I was mowing back there in the, in the nature area, but I'm not changing any of that. We're just gonna see how it does. It could be really short, but uh, I'm just gonna see what the finished quality of cut is. I noticed back there in the nature trails, you could actually see the lines of where these flails are at. You could see the individual grooves that kind of go this way. Not that they dug down, but just kind of the lines in the grass and the weeds, that kind of thing. I'm curious to see if it has that same effect here on the regular manicured lawn. Okay, well, we're not talking that this is great grass to begin with, but uh, overall, this actually did quite well. You can definitely see the lines, but you can kind of even see, although this doesn't get watered, almost a little bit of a striping effect as well because of the roller that's on there also. So, you know, I guess it depends on uh, the level of cut you're going for on your own particular lawn. Maybe there is a way to make a flail mower, potentially a finish mower and a, a rough cut mower, but uh, that may be pushing one extreme and another a little bit too much you know it's definitely i think a lot better suited to the fields the pastures that kind of thing the open areas that have been already had the major stemmy stuff taken out and uh, just grasses and weeds that you can knock down on a regular basis but this just goes to show you you know this is a heck of a lot better than a brush hog trying to mow a uh, a regular weekly mowed area that's for sure well, if you're still with me, thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit about the capabilities of a flail mower. Again, an offset flail mower, 52 inch here on a John Deere 1025R. These are made for the subcompact tractors. Again, I can get these for you. I sell them, I ship equipment all over the country, all the time. So if you're interested in cool equipment that you see here, like the dual wheel setup that's on the back or the mirrors or the step or the tie down points or the saw haul or anything else, check out that description underneath the video all sorts of links for this kind of stuff here go to my website as well good works tractors a lot of this equipment is going to be on there i sell tractors i sell attachments i sell all sorts of good stuff and make sure you hit that subscribe button right underneath the video until next time stay safe we'll see you soon